I'm very surprised how easy the eye PCL is to handle. The ICL comes into the eye and opens like, comes in like this, opens to the side. The IPCL comes in like this mm -hmm. and then opens up like that. Uh, okay. So it's a different dynamic. What I really do like that there is a huge range of ametropia or astigmatism you're able to correct. And then you can add on the personal presbyopic near addition you like to. So I do have all the advantages. Number one, I have less disadvantages as those are less photopic phenomena. The idea to, to, um, to opt for the IPCL, uh, there were two reasons. One, um, the range of diopters that you uh, receive with the IPCL is, um, is bigger. Second, um, I found that, um, uh, or I was attracted by the idea that the um, toric optic of this uh, product of the IPCL is uh, individualized. The third and most attractive um, a feature that this IPCL has um, is that you can correct presbyopia. At the moment it's the only presbyopia correcting uh, fake Ikaiwa. And the lens is also available in different sizings, making the uh, matching and the fitting for the patient much easier compared to uh, other products. But uh, it works already with the delivered injector very well. And once you have it in the anterior chamber, it's actually quite easy to maneuver the haptics underneath the iris and the sulcus, and then it really sits very well. So it's so even you think, oh no, the lens is going to come out upside down or something, it won't because just of the vault and the way uh, it fits in the cartridge means that it only has one way to open up. Capsule laser is uh, a very interesting approach to perform a capsulotomy that is well centered in the line of sight of the patient. My first initial experience was very good. The team around it was meticulously following everything and the additional effort is low. And, it, and the good thing here with this technology from my point of view is you have all, all control in the surgeon hand, which is not always the case with other technologies. Yeah, so my first initial impression is very positive. Capsule laser is a compact laser mounted underneath of your current microscope and it allows you to perform capsulotomy in about one second without disrupting your usual patient flow. The surgery starts with two ordinary side port incisions, which are followed by intraocular anesthesia. The cornea is covered by a layer of OVD. For proper capsule laser interaction with the anterior capsule, we need to stain the interior capsule with tripan blue. We inject the dye very slowly. Gentle tapping on the cornea moves the tripan blue over the anterior capsule to further improve its staining. After the capsule was stained, the tripan blue is washed out of the eye. After the tripan blue was washed out of the eye, the anterior chamber is filled with OVD. We can see the intense blue stain of the anterior capsule, which is important for optimal laser capsulotomy.
Before we place a surgical contact lens on the eye, we spread another layer of viscoelastic over the cornea. Capsa laser is a compact device mounted under any surgical microscope. Therefore, it does not require additional patient manipulation. Capsa laser is turned to the ready position to switch on the red aiming and focusing beams. After the laser is centered and focused, the main laser is switched on by a foot switch. Then capsulotomy is performed in less than one second. The central blue stained capsule is removed from the eye. To be proficient in doing a manual capsular axis, you need to do at least 1000. And I think this is much quicker with um, the capsule laser. Um, the a huge benefit is um, that you see a blue margin of the rexis. This is very helpful in uh, distinguishing the capsule and the lens material du during FACO. workflow is not interrupted like with femtosecond laser uh, systems and uh, the beauty of it is that it is also a laser that it's very appealing to the patient that it's also a laser based system. When performing a femtosecond laser capsulorexis most of the patients get hemorrhages that occur in China. So one day post surgery they're sitting in the waiting room and they have the, this redness in the, the, those eyes and they say well you treated me with laser but still uh, it doesn't look aesthetic. In contrast with a selective laser capsulotomy, I've never seen an hemorrhage uh, in the eye. So it's much more aesthetical also, and uh, it's, it's more appealing for the patient as well. So with this laser system, uh, it's not only cost-effective, uh, it's all also it's very robust. And uh, for now, until now, I've never had to cancel a single surgery with the capsule laser system.